What is up, Grid World? My name is Robertson Ponte. This is the Mad Lab, and on this channel, I talk about all sorts of things creative, my journey as a professional artist, and what we do here at the Mad Lab. On today's vlog, we're gonna take a little sidestep, and I'm gonna tell you guys the five lessons I learned from hanging out with Marco Santini at the mall. Do people still hang out at the mall? for a short time and he stayed the whole time a huge value add. I love this guy. Thank you so much. Marco is a New York based artist that went to Brown University and started linguistics and he built an amazing art career for himself encouraging people to pursue their passion and turn negatives into positives. His art is super colorful and vibrant and he's usually exploring ideas between communication, expression, and imagery. So when I found out he was coming to Norwalk, I was hyped. So I just reached out and asked if he needed any help. And the rest is history. I offered to go pick him up at the train station and give him a ride to the Sono Collection so he can get set up. And when I arrived at the train station and I saw him and Karen, his photographer, with a ton of bags, that's when I learned my first lesson. And that is to always be prepared. Whenever a good opportunity comes around in our careers, it's super important to take full advantage of everything that we can within this opportunity. It was like a pop-up shop. The whole thing was decked out. He had a ton of merch, he had stickers, and he even had these laminated cards with his name, social media, his artist bio, and where to find them, something about his mission. And people buy into our stories, not necessarily just our paintings, but what we represent. In order to get the most out of these opportunities, it's important for us to be able to clearly tell our story. And Marco did a great job. He even came prepared with a professional photographer. I think that's huge. In today's age, it's important for us to capture content and have a way to continuously tell our stories that we can also use as a way to promote ourselves. And because he had Karen there, he took the opportunity to take more portraits and take more pictures of his merchandise so that he could use it as promotional material. While we were there, he actually took a bunch of pictures of his new mask so that he can promote it. So often when an opportunity arises for me, I find myself thinking of all the things I could have done after the fact. And I felt like Marco had already done this so many times that he knew exactly how to go about it. He was very precise, he was very methodical, and he knew how to take full advantage of this opportunity. At this point, everything was set up. His merch area was set up, his art table was set up, his markers were ready to go, and we were ready to paint bags. Well, he was ready to paint bags. But before that started, Marco wanted to show us where his 52 foot digital mural was going to be displayed. The Sono Collection has this 52 foot digital screen where they display a lot of advertisement and a lot of artwork related to the different artists that are showing there at the current time. But for some reason, his mural never showed up. So he instantly got on the phone and started texting everybody involved to figure out what was happening. And that's when I learned lesson number two. Always be persistent, especially when dealing with frustrating situations. In this case, Mark was expecting the mural to be on display, and unfortunately it wasn't. So he needed to be persistent to figure out what the issue was. And when he couldn't figure out right away, he just had to keep going at it until he got to the bottom of it. Unfortunately, that day we weren't able to see the mural, but throughout the week he kept reaching out to the directors of marketing, to the people who helped him design, the people who were in touch with them within the organization to figure out what was going on. And eventually he got to the bottom of it. So I actually went back a couple days after we hung out at the mall to get some footage of the mural on display. So now we're back at the pop-up area and everything is on full swing. Customers are lining up in front of Marco. Marco's taking pictures with everybody. He's giving away stickers and he's drawing on bags and we're having a grand old time. And then when things slow down, I asked him, Marco, how often do you do this? And he said, pretty often. Sometimes these are paid gigs. Sometimes it's a charity event. 
but he's always meeting people at these events, connecting with different people, giving away stickers, getting to know individuals, telling his stories, and these are all learning opportunities and opportunities to put yourself out there. And then I learned my third lesson, which is to always take chances, always we never know what opportunities are going to come from the things that we do. So I believe it's important to be open to new possibilities and new opportunities and take on chances that we might not necessarily want to take at first glance. We could be doing a charity event and someone can reach out to us for a commission piece. Or we could be doing a paid gig and someone can actually ask us to do something different somewhere else. It's important to always try different things, to take chances and to do things that are necessarily out of our comfort zone so that we can grow and do bigger and better things. I mean, now the day's coming to a close and Marco's checking the train schedule to see what time he wants to head back. And right before we start packing up, a family walks into shop at Bloomingdale's and the mom says, Oh my God, this is so cute. We're gonna go shop in there, but we're definitely gonna come back after we're done, okay? So Marco checked the train schedule again and decided to stay late. And good thing we did, because when the family came back, the mom bought out his entire store. And that's when I learned lesson number four. Watching from the sidelines, I realized how special that moment was. I mean, that family was so excited to be a part of what Marco was doing. The mom was telling us a story about her sobriety anniversary and how the message that Marco was talking about resonated with her story. Like I said earlier, people don't necessarily buy what we make. People buy into what we do and who we are and our story. And it was so exciting to see that family taking off their sweater so that they can put on their new hoodies and taking pictures with Marco and talking about it and being so energized about the experience that they were having. And none of that would have happened if Marco didn't choose to stay late. No matter what you're doing, always go above and beyond with a positive attitude and it won't go unnoticed. And now that the whole thing was sold out, we packed up and headed to the train station. And once we got there, we unloaded all of the bags and Marco and Karen were on our way back to New York City. Dude, thank you so much. It was awesome really hanging cool. out. Really appreciate everything you do. It's Love awesome seeing you do your thing. Yeah, bye, Pleasure bye, to meet you. you. And then I realized that Marco and Karen still had a 45 minute ride to New York City. And after that, they had to probably take a subway back home and then unpack and all that other stuff. And I was like, that's a lot of work. And throughout the whole time that we were at the mall, Marco was so excited about everything, so joyful about the work that he was doing. Even throughout the whole turbulence of figuring out what's going on with the mural. And that's when I realized lesson number five. Make sure you enjoy the ride. So I realized how important it is to really enjoy what we do. I mean, so often I get caught up in the stresses of actually making things happening and running the lab and working my full-time job and figuring out how I want to live the rest of my life. It's easy to get caught up in all of that and forget to enjoy the little things. Well, Creative World, that's all I got for you today. Huge shout out for Marco for letting me tag along and shadow him throughout the entire day. I genuinely had so much fun watching him do his thing. I'm so inspired by everything that he does and seeing his art career grow, it just makes me want to work harder on what I'm doing. And if you like what Marco is doing, I'm going to put his Instagram down below, so make sure you give him a follow. And if you liked the video, you were entertained, or got any value whatsoever, please hit that subscribe button and please smash that like button. It really helps me keep going and it helps me connect with more creatives like yourself. And until next time, never stop creating.